Hello, hello. I am going to do um, the next session on my flames tattoo and my slipknot tattoo. I'll do it in one video and <clears throat> and hopefully we start to see results. I just did uh, this one and this one as well as my face. So um, I'm going to use probably as much force as I did with this one. It's stinging a lot. It's got some a little bit of bubbling, but it's something, excuse me, I just had soap, soup, so I have uh, stuff in my teeth, but um, yeah, so there's a little bit of bubbling on this one, but it doesn't feel alarming, it doesn't feel like it's going to scar, we'll see. I guess, but I'm to the point now with this machine that I want, I want better results. And so, um, so I'm going a little bit harder. You know, this whole process, this whole thing has been um, basically an experiment to see, to see how this machine works and if it works and how it works. I do see noticeable fading on my tattoo. I'm starting to see the noticeable fading on my tattoos. A little tiny bit on this one, almost none on this one, but we're going to hit it again today a little bit harder, and we'll see. I do see fading on this one, and I do see fading on this one. Um, so, yes. So, I feel, it feels like the, the process, you know, it feels like it's working. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I'm just gonna put it at one, the highest frequency, and one little bar, the highest uh, intensity. No, the lowest, the lowest intensity. And that seems to be tolerable to where I can tolerate it for longer on my skin and produce better results in that sense. Okay, so this is the Neat Sale Blue Light Pico Second Pen. As you know, I'm going to push you back a little bit. Okay, cool, cool. Ow. Hmm.
<laughs> I'm letting it sting a little bit more <sighs> this time. Trying to produce results. I definitely see fading, you guys, so it is working, okay? Now that I've manned up a little bit more and I'm tolerating a little bit more pain, that's what I'm really seeing the results. I mean, we'll see how this goes, though. I hope I'm not replacing oh, my tattoos with scars. I'm going to put a little bit more of the ointment on there. Definitely hurts, but I'm actually seeing results like as I do it. I mean, we'll see in a few days how it's actually doing. But I finally grew the balls to go a little bit harder on these.
Oh my God, Mother of Pearl. Gosh, okay, now I do some of the inside. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue to do these as often as, as I can. So, like with as hard as I'm getting them today, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do them tomorrow because I feel like they'll be needing a few days at least to heal. But that's just something I don't know yet. Do have some hair burning happening. Sorry. Like I said, I'm just really doing as much as I can stand. I realize I am burning myself. But... I'm gonna make sure that I'm putting the A and D ointment on. I don't like Neosporin, this is why I don't use it. Use Neosporin at your own discretion, please. But I will continue to keep them saturated and slathered with that stuff to make sure that they're healing well. 
because just like a tattoo, it's not going to turn out well if it's not healing properly. You could really mess up a tattoo by not letting it heal properly. So yeah, it's noticeably irritated. Wrong, wrong one. It's noticeably irritated now, this tattoo, for sure. Let's let the, the laser rest a little bit. Um, but with that noticeable irritation, I do see noticeable fading also. And you know, possibly, possibly this thing is going to work. Maybe. After several tries, I feel like it is going to. Mm-hmm. Okay, I am going to hit the Slipknot tattoo again right now as well. Uh, first, I'd like to check on something outside, so give me a moment. Okay, uh, it looks okay outside. What happened was I had an ice chest in my trunk, and it had fallen over and made my trunk quite saturated. And then, so I have my car kind of pointed at the sun, well, my trunk pointed at the sun to let it dry. I heard something outside and I wasn't sure because I don't want somebody to take, I have a jack in there. Um, so I don't want somebody to take stuff out of my trunk. I also have my ice chest right out front too. I hope nobody takes that. I don't think they will though. Yeah, so I see fading on this, on all three of these tattoos now. And they're all burning quite well right now. <laughs> Not the greatest feeling. It's very similar to getting a tattoo, though. It honestly is. Yeah, that's exciting. I, I, I feel like I'm seeing results, y'all. I feel like I'm seeing results. So, okay, Slipknot, the one I haven't seen results on, we're going to hit it. We're going to hit it pretty hard this time. Okay, so I'm going to put the A and D ointment on. glasses on for protection and set it to one and one okay and and then we're gonna go as you can see my power button 
The laser's kind of making some weird sounds right now. Do you hear that? Okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's go. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, okay. I'm not going to do the Slipknot tattoo right now. I'm going to wait until I have that numbing cream, and we're going to see how that goes. And so, anyway, okay, yes. Thank you for watching. I hope you take care. I hope this helps you in some way. Excuse my hair. Excuse my attire. I went on a run earlier. And, uh... Take care. Best of luck on your journey as well. Okay?